what I am going to show you in this edit is how I created this particular animation use, using verbal and superimpose X app. So, I first observed in Instagram that there was this uh, user vidmaster13 or David whose animations looked very very realistic to me. For example, if I look at this, you notice how she's breathing. So, the chest is going up and down a little bit whereas the face is moving to the side. Or if you look here, you notice that there are wisps of breath when she's breathing in the winter scene here. Again, if you look here, you notice that the belt is moving sideways while the chest is heaving up and down slightly and then the hair is waving. So, I realized that Vidmaster 13 is getting such realistic animations by breaking up the human figures into multiple parts and animating each of them separately as a layer. So, what I decided to do was to create something similar. I searched in Google for breathing and found this example of a, a girl doing yoga and I decided I will try to animate this. I also decided I like the winter scene where the breath is coming out so I needed a winter background and I decided upon this winter scene here. So, next I am taking these two images into my app superimpose x where you, here you can see uh, I have imported the photo uh, of the girl doing yoga and what I am basically did because here you can see I have separate parts. So, if I turn off my layers to show a single layer only and I click on this here you can see that I have just the head In this one I have cut out just the uh, neck and chest portion. Here I have cut out the lower part of the body, but I have also cut out the gap between the hands and the thing and I have also changed the grass in the foreground to a bluish color. Um, finally, uh, I have also got a scene here in the background where uh, the scenery of the winter lake, I actually cut out the sky and also a little bit of the lake because I was planning to have moving clouds in the sky and then reflected in the lake as well the clouds. So, each of these parts I basically went to uh, my layer I chose current layer as a PNG and saved it and that way I had separate PNG files that I could bring into verbal. So, for those who are not familiar with how I did the, the cutouts, I uh, will give an example here using this face. I typically go and duplicate a layer and then to cut out the face, I would go to mask, masking tool, I would choose uh, in this case the magic lasso. Just quickly trace around the face like this. and click on the check mark. So, I have cut out the head like that, but you realize the neck has a slightly sharp edge. So, what I can go and do is choose the pen tool settings, choose feathered brush instead of the normal brush, choose feathered and the brush smoothness make it high, very high and then I can move it slightly like this to give it a uh, kind of uh, disappearing edge and that makes the joint even less noticeable when you uh, move it up and down or animate it in verbal. 
So, so much for superimpose X. So, next I will go to verbal. I am opening up the app. I will start the new animation by clicking on the W. You can see here a piece of the winter scene is visible which I had exported. I will click on the layers in the bottom right because I want to import multiple layers. I am also going to choose on the girl, the torso and the head and I will click on next. And so, we have got the basic scene in superimpose X. So, what I like to do at this point is first uh, start the animation. So, I want to, the head to rock slightly uh, back and forth. So, I turn my tools in the top center and I go to pulse. I go to mode. I will choose on uh, shift distortion. Then I am going to move the center of it on the face. I think I will move it a little bit higher up so that the neck is not moving, but just the face is moving slightly. For range, I can go and reduce the range a little bit. I do not want to exaggerate the movement too much. I want it subtle like Vidmaster had. And if this looks okay, I will click next on the chest layer and I will again go to mode and I'll, this time I will go to bulge distortion and I will shift it somewhere in the middle uh, and then I think the range is definitely excessive here. So, I will go to the range and reduce the movement. So, you can see there is a breathing movement here. Next, I will click on the lower body area and I will again go to mode and I am going to bulge distortion. This time I will focus it on the belly button area and it is uh, not noticeable for whatever reason. Let me enlarge that. So, now you can see there is enough movement there. Maybe I want to go to offset and shift the uh, belly breathing little different from the chest breathing because maybe when the chest expands the belly contracts or something like that. So, I have got that effect. Once I am satisfied with the subtle breathing movements, uh, I can start adding some additional things to the scene. So, one of the first things I mentioned was I will be adding a sky. So, I choose an empty layer turn the tools off and from the packs here I will choose my sky, sky pack and what I am going to do is maybe I will choose this sky here and uh, that looks ok. So, I will enlarge it a little bit so that it is coming out from behind the trees and I will move it the layer to the left so that it is behind the trees. So, I think that looks ok. What I am also going to do is I am going to duplicate this layer plus duplicate selected layer and this time what I am going to do is I am going to make the layer inverted. So, I am just going to rotate it with my finger and keep it upside down there and slide it around a little bit. So, now you can see this even inside the lake there is a little bit of reflection moving in the other direction. So, that is the reason I had cut out a hole in the lake as well. So, once that is done, next I want to add some water to the lake. So, I will click on an empty layer and I am going to for water one of the best effects that uh, verbal has is from the vapor pack vapor punk pack and it is this particular one here. So, this it has the movement of the water. So, I slide it so that it, the horizon is matching the lake like that and then I will also slide it to the back so that it is in front of the lake. And next what I am going to do is I am going to go to my tools. 
I am going to blending, I am going to blend style and I want to go to displays. Once I've got that done, I want to go to blend amount and reduce that a bit. So I've got some shimmering going on there. I also want to go to blending and blur and blur that up a little bit. So now I've got a reasonably re realistic water going on in the background. Next what I'll do. Uh, I think I'll add some uh, snow. So I'll turn the tools off on the top, click on plus and go to my snow which is in the, uh, I think it's the winter pack or no Christmas, Merry Christmas pack. So I'll choose here this one and then we have some snowflakes coming down. I can click on plus, maybe I can choose another snow and I, I like this one sometimes to use. This one has some little octagons floating around but it also has some snow effects. So now I have got the snow going on here. Next I will click on plus and this time I want to add some uh, breathing. So I am going to choose a different pack, I will choose the smoke pack and uh, from here maybe I can use this smoke let us as a breath I am not sure this will work out ok. Let us see. So, if I, I try the smoke, what I have to do is go turn my tools on again, go to lighting, increase the lighting so that it is white, gamma, reduce, exposure, brighten and lighting, blending, maybe reduce the blend amount so it becomes a little bit transparent and see how that looks. And if I think that looks okay. What I will go is now turn my tools on to pulse mode and I am going to choose uh, I think it is the fade or I think the fade one might look like it is breathing. So, there is still some color bluish cast on the smoke. So, I want to go to color saturation and reduce that so that that uh, bluish tinge has come out. So, the smoke does not look like it is coming out of the nostril. So, I will turn this tool off and shift it with my finger slightly and see if that looks ok. So, that is also done. Maybe what I can do now is I can add some uh, moving hair to make it a little bit more realistic. So, I click on my packs and go to the hair pack which is I am not been using verbal that much lately. So, I do not know uh, here hair waves. So, what I will look at the different type of hair options that we have and see maybe this one I will try to use. So, I will bring it here uh, somewhere like that on the uh, there it has got some movement going on there. I turn the tools on go to lighting. Uh, reduce the brightness, maybe gamma increase to make it darker, exposure is already decreased. So, that hair also becomes dark and tries to match the color. And in this way, I am able to create the verbal which has the realistic effect. 
once I am satisfied with the effects that I got here. Oh, one more thing that I can do is I can go to uh, choose and choose apply a filter. So, verbal has a number of filters like Instagram kind of thing. So, you can experiment with these and choose uh, which one you want and you can adjust also the strength of the filter and see. Uh, so, maybe I will choose uh, Vida and then filter strength I will go light like that. So, that all if you like the effect of this then you when, once you are satisfied with the look you are going for you click on save on the top right and it it generates your verbal very quickly. You click on save to photo, save video and uh, typically I go for 20 seconds, but, uh, but you can choose whatever you like and that is it. That is how you create the verbal with the realistic breathing effects.